Ye man penny, his excellency, Nana, Adodan Qua, a Kufuado, Edda Tuja H. Musoma Gana, say, Beko any more. Now be be a man or someone as he said to me, Jay. Said be a bit to me, I bought me out to Tony and Mamma or mine, I found it to my pa, Ephra. A man penny, H. Remoa. A yana, I hope to ye, Papa, Passa, or mine be be a yadro. A name be a sea of corn, be be a bessie be a dana man or someone. A man or money to me, Colonel Messansi, and an animal, a teacher or made it too, and noon tea, yes, some more fun and a day, no. Sankomo, yes, Sanko, man, and no be be a yawe. It's good to be here this afternoon to celebrate with you our distinguished senior citizens, Ghana's Founders Day. The first time in our nation's history that August 4th has been so commemorated. I'm honored on such a day to be with you, men and women who have made considerable contributions in all fields of endeavor to the building of modern Ghana. Our nation will always be indebted to you because you have helped bring progress to our country. We're gathered here to acknowledge the role played by successive generations of Ghanaians towards the liberation of our country from colonialism and imperialism. Government believes that the most appropriate way to honor them is to commemorate the day on which the two most significant events in our colonial political history that led us to freedom and independence occurred 4th August. It is unfortunate that 62 years after independence, the history of these events continues to be embroiled in needless controversy due largely to partisan political considerations of the moment. It is time we rose above partisan considerations, set the record straight, recognize the collective efforts in gaining our freedom and independence from colonial rule, reject the trivialization of our past, and do right by our history. I'm glad that this date has now found root in our nation's calendar by act of parliament, and long may it so continue. The UGCC, the first political party in our history, which was the first to make a formal demand for independence, indeed, the first time any such demand was made in colonial Africa. A demand made 11 days before the declaration of India's independence on 15th August 1947. In the midst of those heady days, Kwame Nkrumah, the General Secretary of the UGCC, together with his colleagues, such as Komla Agbelik Bedema, Kojo Botsio, Nathaniel Welbeck, Kofi Bako, Krobay Dusay, Kwesi Plange, E.K. Datsun, A.R. Boache, A.Y.K. Jin, Atamensa, and others like him, all members of the UGCC, resigned from the convention to form the Convention's People's Party in 1949, 
which subsequently became the main vehicle for the prosecution of the nationalist struggle. He led it with panache and verve, and on 6 March 1957, led us to our promised land of independence, of freedom and justice, for which the Ghanaian people will always be grateful to him. Hence his memorialization on a special day, Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Day, the only Ghanaian to be so honored. Let us put our shoulders, all of us, to the wheel and drive our nation to her destination, a united, developed, prosperous, free, democratic, and independent Ghanaian nation. I wish all Ghanaians a happy Founders Day. And once again, I salute and pray tribute to all senior citizens in every part of the country today. May God bless us all in our homeland, Ghana, and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention.